So we got a lot of snow overnight and it's still snowing quite a bit so I am going to go out and test the snow mode on this truck and see just how well it handles. This truck looks quite a bit bigger than my Q5 so it's a little bit more difficult to get into my parking spot. The problem with these condos is that they never design for large vehicles. So my four point turn to get into my space, which I can only reverse in, I can't pull in or else I'll take the side panel out on the truck, so. Just like this vehicle here, it's very tight. And these drivers don't pay attention. They come flying through here. And then they expect you to move, but my vehicle's a little bit bigger than yours, so you'll be backing up. Here's the snow. Just put it in snow mode. Braking's pretty good. Slipping a little bit, but uh, considering there's about four to six inches of snow on the road, it's not bad. I'm going to do a little brake test here. Brakes well, didn't skid, stayed on track around this corner, fine. Stop sign, no problem. Actually handles quite well. Thought maybe with a truck, the back end would be a little bit lighter and it would slide out a bit, but that doesn't seem to be the case on this one. I'll have to research to see if Honda did something with the balance, weight distribution, front and rear. Let's see how slow this guy is going. Trying to stop. And take the trash and control off here. Oh, stuck mode. I'll put it in normal. Let me 
Canadians here. I can't see them. Handles quite well. Got some snow here. is sliding in front of me. I'm not even feeling it. Actually accelerating a bit. Sky, where is the sky going? Some plows are out. Imagine a highway should be in pretty decent shape. Changing lanes is when I really notice how well a vehicle does in bad conditions. Because you always get the little bit of slush snow in the middle between the two lanes. Not even feeling it in this truck. I'm really comparing it to the Quattro system on the Audi. drove that, that Audi for three and a half years and that Quattro system is one of the best all-wheel drive systems I've ever driven. In snowy conditions, uh, wet conditions, I've taken it off-roading through um, powdered snow and I tell you that almost second to none to what I've, I've driven. But I tell you that this all-wheel drive system that Honda has in this truck is is very nice. Going up to some traffic here. Just going to make another lane change. Again through the slush. With ease. Couldn't do that with a front wheel drive vehicle. Just go ahead and step on the gas here and see what happens in these conditions. You can feel the tires are starting to slip slightly, but then you feel the all-wheel drive system kick in and keep it tacking straight. There's a car in a ditch in the uh, oncoming lanes. See some snow plows here. quite amazing the looks that I get uh, in this vehicle because I have never seen one in the city. I know that the uh, dealership 
only had a couple that I went to see. Um, and when I'm driving around, people people look and people look twice and people in trucks look and they haven't seen one of these. This is a, a unique vehicle. are still pretty bad.